Instead of spending hours on 3D modeling, you can use AI to transform 2D images into full 3D models for free using Comfy UI and the Honey UN 3D model. You can then import the generated model into any 3D software and tweak it further for projects like animation, game development, and even 3D printing. In this video, I will walk you through the entire process from setting everything up to getting the best results. Before moving on, I noticed that many of you watching are not subscribed, so if you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you subscribe and support the channel by liking this video. I create these tutorials based on your requests, so feel free to suggest specific topics in the comments. To get started, you first need to install Comfy UI. I've made a dedicated video guide for this, so if this is your first time using it, watch that video first. You will also need to install the Hanyuan 3D wrapper nodes, which is an extension that runs on top of Comfy UI. While there is a guide available, it might be a bit overwhelming, so I will walk you through it step by step. If you encounter any issues with these nodes, check the Issues tab for existing solutions. You can also get help from our friendly Discord community, and I will leave a link to that down below. To install the Hanyu and 3D wrapper nodes, open your Comfy UI folder, navigate to Custom Nodes, select the folder path, replace it with CMD, and press Enter. In the command window, type git clone and paste the Honeywind 3D wrapper link and press enter to download the nodes. Besides that, you will need to install a few dependencies. Return to your Comfy UI portable folder and repeat the process. Select the folder path, delete it, type cmd and press enter to open the command window and paste this command line which I will put in the description box and then press enter. After that command is executed, paste the second command, also in the description box, and hit enter to complete the installation. Before creating 3D models, you will need to download the Honeywen 3D model file. I will provide the link to this page below, find the save tensors file, right click the download button, and select save link as. In your Comfy UI folder, go to models, open diffusion models, create a new folder named HY3D Gen and save the Honeywen model there. You are now ready to launch Comfy UI. If you've had it installed for a while, make sure it's up to date by going to Manager and clicking Update All. Next, download the Honeywen 3D Wrapper workflow from this page, which I will link below, so you can start converting images to 3D models. Simply drag and drop the downloaded file into your Comfy UI interface to load the workflow. If you get a message about missing nodes, go to Manager and select Install Missing Custom Nodes. Install all the nodes shown in this list. After that, restart Comfy UI. And once it reconnects, you can close this window. If you still see red outlined nodes, simply refresh the page. The workflow consists of four node groups each handling a different part of the image to 3D process. I'll guide you through each group and highlight the key settings you need to pay attention to in order to get the best results. Start by using the load image node to select your image. For this demo, I'm gonna use a picture of a running shoe. Below the load image node, you can adjust your image resolution. While you can use the size of your original image for better results, lower resolutions process faster. I prefer to go with 1024 by 1024. In the loader node, make sure the model is loaded correctly. If it's not showing up in the list despite being downloaded, go to edit and select refresh node definition to make sure the model is detected by Comfy UI. In the generate mesh node, the guidance scale setting controls how closely the 3D output matches your input image. A higher scale creates a more faithful output, while a lower scale gives more creativity to the AI, and the default value of 5.5 works well as a starting point. The steps value will significantly affect the output quality, more steps steps enhance mesh quality but increase computation time, I personally keep this at 50. The VAE decode settings also impact both output quality and generation speed. You can lower it down for faster generation but I prefer to set this at 512 for better detail. I've noticed the number of chunks greatly affects generation speed without much difference on the visual quality and I haven't fully tested its exact function yet since I'm not a 3 
3D expert. If any of you understand what this does, please let me know in the comments below. Now moving on to the export mesh node. Here you can set your 3D model's file name. Right below that, we have the post process mesh. Make sure to keep all these settings set to true. The maximum face number setting is another important one. More faces mean a smoother 3D model. Choose your face count based on your intended use. For example, low poly models have fewer faces, making them suitable for games and real-time applications, while high poly models have more faces, offering greater detail for CGI and realistic renders. The default value of 50,000 faces works well as a starting point. You can test with this setting first and adjust based on your needs. This is the 3D preview node which I will explain in more detail later. Below that is the D light group. These nodes will remove the original lighting from the image to create consistent shadows and highlights. The first node will download the D light model automatically during the process. Make sure to set the width and height to match the dimensions you used in the image resize node and do the same thing for the solid mask. Next comes the texture generation group. Both the render size and texture size are set to 1024. This works well for me. Since no other changes are needed here, let's look at the texture sampling nodes. This section will apply the render texture to your 3D model. The Hanyuan 3D paint model will download automatically during the process. Below this, you can increase the view size to 1024. You can also increase the steps for better texture quality. The image size node is set to 1024 by 1024, which works well. There are also up scaling nodes that when enabled will further enhance your texture quality. I typically try to prioritize quality so I will enable these upscaling nodes by selecting them and pressing Ctrl M. If you enable them you will need to download an upscaling model for this. I'll provide the link in the description box. Find the upscaling model on the linked page and save it in Comfy UI. Models upscale models. I've already downloaded mine here and to ensure your image goes through the upscaling process, connect the upscale image node's output to the input of the bake from multi view node. Let's move on to the 3D export mesh node. Here you can set the file name of your textured 3D model. By default, it has the same name as the 3D mesh file, so I will add textured to distinguish between both. At the very end, there's another preview 3D node, and we'll see the difference between this and the other preview node in just a bit. Once you've finished adjusting the settings, click Q to start generating your 3D model. Quick note, the first time you run this, it will take longer because it needs to download additional models. As you will see, the AI begins processing and Comfy UI works through the nodes one by one. The VAE decode node handles most of the intensive work and it's running a bit slow due to the high octree resolution. Even though we're prioritizing quality, the process uses relatively low VRAM. This is great news for users with lower end GPUs. You should be able to run this on your system without issues. Once the process finishes, you will see your generated 3D model in the first preview 3D node. And just like that, we've created a detailed 3D model from a single image. And inside the preview node, which has a bunch of settings to play with, you can even view the model in different materials. Although we're not done yet, but you can already see how well Hanyuan 3D predicts what objects look like from different angles it even generated the sole and inside of the shoe. When switching to wireframe, you will see the structure and faces of your 3D model from all angles. While this isn't perfect, we can tweak this further and I will explain how in a minute. Looking at the delighting nodes, you will notice the original lighting has been removed, making the image appear flatter with more consistent shadows and highlights. The process is now upscaling the generated texture. This is the final step before applying textures to our 3D model. Now take a look at this. Even when zooming in, the texture details remain crisp and clear. If you're not satisfied with the model, here's what to do. Go to the Honeywin 3D Generate Mesh node and switch the seed control mode to randomize. This will create a different version when you click Q. If you like the 3D model but want to adjust 
only the texture, keep the mesh seeds set to fixed, and instead change the seed control to randomize in the sample multi-view node. When you click Q, it will only generate the texture sampling, giving you a different texture. Feel free to experiment until you get the look you want. To find your model files, go to Comfy UI, Output, 3D. In this folder, each output includes both the mesh and textured versions as GLB files. These files work with most 3D software like Blender, where you can modify the model, adjust textures, visualize the model in different environments, and much more to customize and tweak the model further. You can also import these models into After Effects, which now supports bringing 3D models directly in your compositions and adding them to your videos. Speaking of videos, I've created another tutorial about generating AI videos for free on your computer using Hanyuan, so if you're interested, you can watch that video next.